Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the King's Arms in Fenwick or Fenwick or Fenwick. Feel like a sniper? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the King's Arms in Fenwick. We're here to make an absolute banging munch. It involves ribs and it involves pork fat, and uh, I'm basically 99% pork fat. And what we like to do in this program is show you the potential that independent small businesses can offer to the greedy bastards out there. Listen, guys, moan in and we'll show you the grub and Stefan the chef. This part's for the sponsor who are Energy Technical Academy. They're an absolute banging college, nearly as banging as the ribs we're about to eat. If you fancy being a gas engineer, give them a wee message on Facebook. It's probably me you'll speak to. So listen, give us a shout, say listen, I might be a gas engineer. Send me some information and feel free to send me food vouchers, guys. You've been amazing. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to Queen's Arms and Fenix. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to Joker's Arms in Cambridge. <laughs> Can we give him a tune of the crack then? Is that not loud enough? Take the crack. That's probably good. I know he's like that. There's still bodies in there. This is what's good about it. No, I like it with this kind of restaurant. It's like, there's a nice vibe of it. It's like, that's what I like about you and the owners. Like, you know, you've all got on brilliant. I don't see you speaking, but it's good. It's nice. Two years, mate. It's a proper environment where everybody's supported. But even when you come in, like, and I love coming in here. The last time I came here, mate, you put sugar puffs in my steak. <laughs> and, and it was amazing. I put the sugar puffs, what was it? Uh, it was puff barley. Puff barley. I, but... <laughs> on, it's a <laughs> I said to Mikey, do you have to take it off? He's like, no, he's alright, he's mental, can't do it. The food's frightening. It's, obviously, I know you guys as well, but it's nice to come to like, an independent restaurant yeah. and see like good food. Like, you're obviously passionate about the food, and you see that when on social media, like me, I spend days hungry, I mean, I tried, I think I've removed you at one point for social media and then just because of the food is just outstanding and not only do you get amazing food, the portions are decent as well yeah. unless you're doing the fancy stuff, I've seen that I would do the fancy things, just make up a small thing Avoid, avoid the days yeah, avoid them and <laughs> But it's good to have a, an actual pub, be a good pub club because all, all we really know these days is like the kind of weather spoons and yeah, so it's not really a pub club is it? No, it's kind of elevated a little bit like more modern British gastro pub club Ah, uh, it's, it's just, gastro Yeah And that's what this is like mate, the, the food is absolutely frightening so if you want a pub or much come to King's Arms and Fenwick and Stefan says this is something that anybody can make home. Yeah, it's pretty easy, man. Just a few ingredients. It doesn't take long at all. So look, we're going to be making the vegan ribs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mikey told me to say that everybody if any complaints with the vegan ribs, contact the Fenwick Arms. Uh, not a King's Arms because we're definitely nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, so what are we making today, mate? What's the plan? Uh, we're going to do barbecue pork belly ribs. Pork belly on the bone, nice and fat, all your shades, well bad ribs. Uh, we've got some spices that we're going to make a rub, marinate them for a bit, uh, put them in a barbecue glaze, cook them for a couple of hours, scramble them. See, see, years ago, mate, I would have bought Babe Station for a story. <laughs> I'm just going to get you to talk me through the menu. <laughs> That's the front face thing. Eddie's ever says to me, man, it just he makes it sound banging, but aye, let's go for it. So, Stefan, how long would this take you to make if you're doing this at home? Uh, oh, I'll go about three hours. Three hours? But the actual work in 10 minutes. That one does the rest of the work for you. So just add it, bang it all together, put it down, and come back in three hours. Aye, whatever, whatever. Is this something you can put in a slow cooker? Is this better? Yeah, yeah. yeah aye, it could be a slow cooker, it could be the oven. That was the easiest way to do it, but I might not put it in a slow cooker, but you could try it. So if anybody said, watch the news Sunday, they're freaking out, they've got a hangover, get up, <laughs> get, get all this together, stick it in the oven, go for a nap, come back, and bang your ribs. Aye, Has it got a name? Do you get a name? Is it just. Ribs, barbecue sauce. Dirty ribs. Dirty ribs. Dirty ribs. <laughs> Dirty ribs are only in a bunch of bowls, cut on cheese. No. Proper no. food. All these spices, we have the mustard to the side, fire them in, the bowl, give them a good mix up. Right, can you talk us through the spices? So we've got ground cumin. Yep. We've got smoked paprika, ground ginger, garlic powder, white brown sugar, and crab black pepper. Oh, nothing too nice. Everything in. Everything, everything, in. everything in. Make stuff in about that. So cumin are coming. So I call dirty ribs. Just go for it, mate. Go for it, aye. 
<laughs> She's like, oh, I just took her tattoos, man. It's like home economics in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make ribs explosive? <laughs> <laughs> so see when, see when you go home, obviously you did this all day. I take it most of your day spent prep, day prep, and then people yeah. come in the night to get the best of the prep, you know? Yeah, yeah, so we'll come in early morning, 5 o'clock in the morning every day. We make everything here, like we don't buy anything other than ice cream. So we come in early, prep all the lunch, the dinner, go home. And uh, so we'll fire that, I've sent that into that, uh, yep. uh, that tray. Then we're going to uh, gonna use the mustard as a glue. So, so all the spice mix, we'll stick to the ribs. Yep. Take some English mustard. Yep. Take all of that and brush. Brush it under the rim. So I like going all that. Cover the full rim. And then we just dip it right in the spice mix. That's class. There you go. There you have a little mix. I've been going to college and practice a bit. I got lucky. I was 16. And I got offered a job in a, what is now a shut down, I think it was a hotel in Fife. I got lucky. For the job in there as a comedy chef. So that's almost nice as well that you didn't go through the normal route. Like in no. a bit, it's like you've done it because you love it, obviously. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to cook. Yeah, but it was really good at anything else, I'll be honest. I was kind of shite and scared. What was the hotel food like? Was it horrible food? It was just, aye, nasty, nasty food. <laughs> food that you say is like, when I leave here one day, yeah. I'm going to make proper good food. Aye, I'll show you how you really like it. Because kitchens are quite tough environments, isn't it? There's a lot of shouting and a lot of yeah, yeah. kind of tension. I think we're moving away from that now. Like, for years, it was just a really toxic environment. Everyone's like pirates. Like, and I'll put a lot of alcohol over your sitting in the kitchen. Why do you think that is? Is that just because it's, it's a late job? It's, it's a, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And I think, I don't know, it's just how people try to fit in a little bit. Um, see other people doing it and figure out what they're just even up to it and then they get the pressure off, a little bit of stress off. Do you think Gordon Ramsay takes blood? Right. So next, we're going to. Now they're all for the dried up on them, we're just going to get a cup of them, cup of barbecue, chicken and stuff. Yep. Cup of bar- 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 This is stuff you can buy in Tesco and it's in that bag. Check it out. So we, uh, we get all our barbecue spices, everything that's on the ribs and out. Yep. And the tomato sauce, all into the chicken stock mixed together. Oh, so so this isn't a Tesco, this is homemade. This is a good shape. This is a good shape. Let's have all that. Let's start. Let's say that. Sounds <laughs> very good, doesn't it? I'll pay 150 an hour for that. <laughs> 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 a minute. Grab ASMR. Still going to make me right about there. If I uh, drift in, I'll stop the ribs from like, coming up above the water. So you put even lines in the water. Nice and moist. Moist? Yeah. Moist. Moist. Grabs. Yeah. I'll feed them to 180 degrees. Um, so no one really has this at home, but I don't want to know that. Uh, 180 degrees, we'll fire them in uh, for two hours to start with. I need to see this, right? Because I know there's people here that are going to be like, put the bush. This, this is the microwave, this is an oven. Don't put this in a microwave for three years. It needs to work. It puts bad, this will be worse. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fire that in uh, for a couple of hours. Take it out, check it, just to make sure that we're not bothering anybody, put the house down and ruin your dinner. Um, so how often would you check this? Just every hour? Yeah, about every hour, I just did it on the same side. Should be okay because after they submerge in the liquid, yeah. they won't plug. Then we'll be going to plug them in. So that's how you want to plug them in. Feel that like bit of food, you know? <laughs> Best piece, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> so they're melting now, we can start the barbecue piece off, right? Yeah. Very simple, with no cooking involved in it. We've got tomato ketchup, we use Heinz. Uh, we've got some black pepper, uh, garlic powder, paprika, Tabasco, lemon juice, soy sauce, whistle sauce, mustard, and black pickle. So, all we're going to do with this, uh, we've got a spoon to get here. So, just take all those ingredients, all that black pepper, that will end up with the bones in my face off and I shit. Love that. And then all those ingredients, fire them in the bowl, mix them up. Cool. <laughs> Some spins in that tub there, don't you? A wee try and see if it's edible. You ready? Yep. 
Actually, but I've tasted it before. It's a, it's a different, it's barbecue, you tasted barbecue, but it's like Gucci barbecue. Oh, quite smoky and sweet. Aye, it's, it's a nice taste, it's obviously yeah. the fresh stuff that's in it. It's not just a squeezy bottle. Nah. It sounds like it's farting when you squeeze it. I hate that, mate. Seeing the restaurant as a wee granny's like, I like, like, fucking, tight and done, man. I know you ain't give it as a bum hole, know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I just got, I visualise the bum hole, just squeeze it out. And it's just, this could put us half some greedy, you know what I mean? But it annoys me. Yeah. Everybody thinks somebody's farted. And see when you're in a restaurant, somebody, somebody does fart. Everybody looks at me because they're fat. It's, it's a pure fat guy, like, man. It's, it's horrifying. This is therapy as well, like, generally. Thanks for being here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so it's done. That's going to wait until the ribs are cooking. We'll, we'll glaze them in that. We're going to make salad next. So we're going to make a really unhealthy stuff. This is what I'm going to make. This is what I came for. I came to make the salad. Totally wasn't for the ribs. And the uh, pickled cucumber and caper salad. Yeah. Nothing fancy, nothing too extravagant, mate. So, so we're going to uh, chop our cucumber quite chunky. Yeah. A wee bit of this, I'll let you do the rest, right? Yeah. We're going to put it in a bowl with uh, some dill, salt, sugar, and lemon juice. Brilliant. Just leave it to do its thing for a little while. And then we'll mix it through with some watercress, some spinach, and rock it, and the cables and onions. I'll do this way, right? Because I know you like your sharp knives. They're not evil friendly, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah, that's plenty, mate. Right? And then just halves. Just chop it in half. I've got a knife in the house, man, and you've got to like, you've got to like stab it and see you get out of the onion, man. Yeah. <laughs> like a serial killer, just like half an onion with your, your face. Yeah, in this oven, so fire all your cucumber into the bowl. Yeah. Along with. So use all this. This is just a salt sugar mix with evil for you, salt sugar. See how of that. Pull that down. There's still some, some healthy for you, man. And then this is just lemon juice and a lot of that vinegar, so it's yeah. the acid there. And then you want to just get your fingers in there, work it together and mix it. So does that, does it, does it talk about the acid, does it do anything to the... So it'll be like a pickle, mm-hmm. a flavour of um, cucumber, so like a, like a gherkin, mm-hmm. but chunkier, tastier. Aye. Uh, yeah. so we'll do it, we'll fire that in the pubs. Is a gherkin a cucumber? Yes. I'm not 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 I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not i i i <laughs> they like you need I can't believe that. Need the whole lemon juice. <laughs> 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 I feel like I can be bastard, but you can't just go buy a cucumber on its own. You know what I mean? You need to buy a bag of salad. You buy a cucumber on its own like that. Because I look suspect on it, you know what I mean? Like we see up to with that cucumber. So I need to buy a bag of salad at all. So, I had that done fast. <laughs> you can order it online. <laughs> imagine the game. Imagine the guy from Asda coming to order a cucumber. <laughs> he couldn't break any of this. Fucking put it back to me, man. <laughs> right, so that's the salad kind of one. So, yeah, once that's sat for a bit, we'll mix everything together. It won't make any salad dressing, so that the liquid from the gherkins will <laughs> dress the salad. And that's pretty much it, mate. So. <laughs> How fast is that? <laughs> That's the time we had the like, videos, isn't it? <laughs> just keep doing that, does it? Right. And oh, you yeah. can say Christmas songs on it as well. Aye, there's a wee Christmas tune on it as well. Can I just imagine Angry Chefs enjoying that? Going we only to... changed it like two weeks ago. That's just a fucking easy. That was a kick for the hills. There you go. Oh wow. Yeah. No, no, it's mental, right? In three years, there's two ribs grew. <laughs> <laughs> they've had a wee baby and then they've been twins. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was six went in, there was eight. There was another one here, but I'm sad to have So, now that the ribs are nearly ready, quite a bit, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to. That's hard. 
we're going to put them on a flat tray. Yeah. But see, we be home to them. Yeah. So it'd be wanky if you had to turn the That's why you've like, become all angry at your job, you used to make you look at me. I'm going to take that out of your shoes here with me. <laughs> so, just grab the ribs a wee bit. They're falling apart, which is what we want. Yeah. And we're just going to line them up all yeah. over that tray. And then we'll place them. Right, they're done literally. That's just what you want after the boys. Yeah, that's how you know they're good. Even though you want it, you just... Look at that. Wait, just keep right after him. Oh. Well, I've dreamed about that one. You don't need to. That's the one I'm going for straight away, see when they... If they go to fight for the river. We're going to fight for the river. You can just brush that over. Oh, over. You get it, so it's... The saucier, the better. It's amazing you've done this. Just after them back. Do you like that, that they stay there, like, could you imagine going to work in a kitchen and being under somebody, or? Well, I, I did for a while, um, for four years, I was always working under people. Um, and all that things is good, because it's good to be work for. And good ideas? Yeah, that you, you learn so much from other people, and then, but they like, have the freedom to come in and do what I want, like, I don't make a really good day, kind of like, just trust me to do what I want. I don't believe when you come in and deal with it. So they feel just like, pick stuff up for them whenever. Uh, always come up with guidance, we change them and you can regularly as well. So we're not constantly changing things constantly that well. Like sometimes you find something you like, you come in, you need to try something new. And yeah. I, th- I like that about it, because you don't just stick. I would be like, scroll through it to uh, you on the night and then just go through it. There's a few it. times I've come in, I've been like, oh, I've seen this Instagram, I'm like, oh, I was going to make that today. Something Aye. different. And it's, it's nice, because you try all the foods. God, I felt like Christmas time, we've done this festive sandwich at Christmas time. I had it. You had it? Uh, I can't remember, I can't even go there. Oh, I mean, I was ill. I got that and then I went, it was like a whole Christmas dinner on a sandwich and I came in here and I went and done gas jobs. I went and done a few boiler services and I was just in a customer's cupboard having a nap man, like just like, I'll be two years, pal. <laughs> so, now that's all stuff, and we're going to put them under the grill, we caramelised them. 10 15 minutes at the same time, drop 180. Caramelised them up, get them nice and crispy. Gas. Oh. So that's a qualified gas engineer because I went to the Energy Technical Academy. I don't know how to use this. It's <laughs> valid. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this you're just caramelising it, you know, a wee kit? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll Cheers, it was the, the best night out of my tour. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be Glasgow's at the end, and then we would try and move Kelly for the end, because that was like, we would go out and Kelly, no Glasgow, like, so he's done amazing. Let me help myself. No, but then guess, guess first, mate. Go for it. Right. That's fucking one, man. Listen. So, are you going to drop that? No, it's going to be fun. I'm going to move that. Get that. Napkins at the ready. I just want to let you know, guys, right? It looks like a cucumber, but it's a pickle. It's <laughs> oh, <that's> good to <laughs> know. <laughs> that's good. Nice. Real life lessons. So, what made you want to do this? What made you just go for the. Obviously, oh, I know your story, but people Aye. That, that don't know you. Oh, it's kind of Gareth's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beginning one, that's, isn't? that's been a part I was interested in for years. It's just it's a, quite a, it's a story, probably it's been about. And everybody's always heard of it. It was always really famous for food. And it kind of it stopped that food service on it. It wasn't doing what it was meant to be doing. I think it kind of wind it was coming up for. Availability, so I spoke to Mikey uh, and just said, Listen, if this place comes up, you you fancy going to the restaurant game, I go and I'm going to be over a drunken conversation. He agreed. I think I was talking to you when you were kind of an initial plan and getting it right. just before Covid, that I was like, You're mental, in mm-hmm. the middle of neighbour. Absolutely, and I think that's what I actually like about it. Aye, uh, I like about it. There's, there's no mad traffic, you come in, you get parked, you're in, and it's, it's like 10 minutes from Glasgow. Have you even that? Going for, going for like a nightclub to do this, it's always a wee bit of a transition, but. Credit for credit, we usually just win shit, don't we? Aye, and that's pretty much what we've done here. And it's, uh, it's paid off dividends. I'll have a big fat 
Which you get one of the best things that's ever been in your mouth, by the way. Should I taste it up? Well, I'm, um... I went to TGI's last night at the Reigns and I got ribs. Right. And I'm so glad I did, man. Because right. I bought TGI's this one nice. See, it's, that's frightening. Uh, even, even when we were taking it out, we were playing it up like it just looks. The fuck falls off. It just falls off. It's like the fat as well, see the fat? Mm -hmm. Like, you think it looks quite flatty, but see, you eat it, it just melts away in your mouth and it's not, there's nothing unpleasant about it at all. Your gherkins are great. Took me two hours. That's a nice wee accompaniment, mate. Right. Nice wee fresh salad. He was saying he's got the, the stuff he's got left there, he's going to put it out the night on the menu. Right, but I have to say. People are going to be gutted when they see that, as a special one. You have the big massive ribs, <laughs> it's going to be like, Go on, mate. <laughs> you eat in the summer? I think most folk are just used to ribs as like a wee side and a Chinese into it. And you get your wee barbecued ribs and it's just a wee, you're chewing the shit out of the bone. When Two things I love, right? And you can't really get it. Like, that the, the quality of this is, uh, is amazing. And it's, there was some, there was a restaurant in Glasgow called Smoked mm -hmm. Barbecue. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. they done ribs, but it was probably the half way here. Mm -hmm. But this is phenomenal. Ribs and chicken wings I love. And I love when it's done right. right. This is probably the nice ribs I've had. I'm just the... saying that, I genuinely mean no, it. No, I, I definitely am. I mean, we're obviously going to be a bit biased without mm. even meaning to be. Aye. But the big man's a magician. He really Aye, is. He's a magician. Aye, um, the amount of flavour he packs into stuff. Mm -hmm. Simple, humble ingredient, man. Uh -huh. He just transforms it. He made that look so easy. I love it. It's easy, but it's just it's mm -hmm. kind of like all the experience he's got. Aye. See, what, the, the what, made just, what made you just come for a restaurant? I've never asked you that. What made you just decide? Is it know, something man. Manny's always wanted to do? Was it the coffee you were coming I'm for? I'm going to know something like that. I'm quite into it. Quite into eating, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eating and raving. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, thanks? So I, I'm just always going to fancy that go at it, but it's a hard game in restaurants, but this pub, again, where it sits in the building it is, and it's a destination place to be decided with. It's a good place to try, because well, there's not a hotel in the village, but there's not a lot of competition up here, so you're not in the middle of a town or a city and you're trying to Compete with this up here, it was about we can do something a wee bit more special, but something a bit different. So, I just decided to go for it. Yeah, you've got, you got a few famous people that come in, did you get up to dinner as well? Aye, aye, come in? aye, they come in. Um, oh, good, like a lot of the footballers and that come in as well and stuff, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, people use it because it is different, and again, I've said it before, there's no disrespect to anything that's, that's happening in the food round about locally in Ayrshire, but it has been quite stuck in its own way. We found a niche, Ayrshire food's found its own niche. And they just kind of stuck to a, well, a recipe that works, mm -hmm. if I thought of the food, but we just decided that we were going to step away from that for a minute and just try something a little bit different. And obviously we met Stefan, mm -hmm. and we were very lucky to do so, mm -hmm. and he had the exact same vision with his food as we had spoke about. Right. It was honestly, see when you said in the kitchen there, it was like a kind of fate thing. Mm -hmm. When the big man sat down and spoke to us, we had spoke about a place that we were looking at their food and we kind of mm -hmm. admired, and he said the very same. His menu that he had written out, was exactly what we were talking about. Was it? Have we brought a menu? Was that was that before he came in? That's that's what he was in. Interview. Interview. Was was we, had, we didn't even know him. We didn't. He was in for his interview. He came prepared for his interview and like he wrote, he wrote menus and costed mm -hmm. them. And just his ideas, his basic idea for what he fancied doing as a menu mm -hmm. was exactly what our vision had been. It was honestly it's fate. Because I remember talking. I came and spoke to you. It was the first time you could get in. I came and got my dinner. Aye. With my daughter, I brought my daughter and Megan. Yeah. And you were talking about Stefan, and it was lovely to hear the way you spoke about him. Because you were like, oh, it was there for him, man. I don't think they'd have been successful. And you never yeah. hear that. Normally, a no. restaurant, it's like, look at me, I'm the weird, weirdly gods. And you are always like, pass the buck on. And you, you genuinely mean it, which is. And nice. I was quite concerned when we first started because he was young. And you're like, there's a lot of responsibility on young shoulders like, to run a kitchen. Uh, and then his partner, Morgan, she came and started with it as well. Uh, it's incredible to watch him for his age. No, you just his age for any age, mm -hmm. but for the age he has and experience he's got, how in top it is and how much aye, he knows aye. about food. And it's die. He's he's gonna go places. He's a boy. Aye. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be there with him. So, <laughs> so people who are, who are currently lying in their bed to do him over or, or just having an absolute food gas or like this. How can they book? Did you just phone up or go on Facebook? On my socials, my Facebook, my Instagram. Uh, we've got a website as well. King's Arms Fennec. We're easy to find. Um, no, 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 You can call us anything you want. I've been calling you a lot more soon. Um, but we're easy to find. And like you said, people think, oh, Fennec, that must be miles away. They think you need a flight to Pressburg. People literally 10 minutes, Paul. Right. Right. For Glasgow. So easy. So you're basically we're between Glasgow and Kilmarnock. Mm -hmm. We're right bang in the middle. We're on the motorway. Very easy to get to. A lot of work in our local customers now come down for food. They're through the south side of Glasgow. Because it's a nice wee place to come down, go a walk. 
get a bike to eat and you're 10 minutes back up the road. Simple. It'd be lovely to come here on a date with that, so this is like a first kind of date. It's that, it's a good for a few of you, but it's really nice and it's a nice atmosphere. It's quiet, there's quite a small restaurant as well, it's not, there's no, mm -hmm. sometimes you're in restaurants and you start straight beside other people right. and that, but we don't do that, we've kept it quite spacious and mm -hmm. uh, well, obviously Covid started that, but we've kind of kept it that way, it's got a nice wee feeling to it, so. Uh, yeah, much coffee and getting money and costing everybody out. <laughs> no, I'll <laughs> show you another one. Put another ten tables and taffies. <laughs> we've got to remember as well. It's still a pub as well. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's still a pub and it's used by a lot of the locals and stuff, and they still come in and drink. So we we obviously have to adapt a wee bit to that and respect what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a hub of the community in here. So Friday and Saturday nights, it's even with drinkers. We've got live music on on a Saturday night, and that. Yeah. I mean, so you've got a good night out as well. Oh, that's that's good food. And then you've, you've seen the beer. <laughs> there's, a hotel, there's a hotel down the road as well. Aye, absolutely. <laughs> Five minutes walk. Aye, absolutely. Guys, thanks for getting me in. It's been amazing. And no, thank you. Oh, thanks for coming, mate. It was good. See you again. I can't wait to see this. So that's been the King's Arms in Fennec. Probably the nicest ribs I've ever tasted in my life. Big, fat, drippy after bun. Amazing, guys. Please come and support this amazing pub and restaurant. 10 minutes for Glasgow and probably 10 minutes for the year. Have a great day, guys, and please like, subscribe, comment the comments below if you want to recommend a restaurant. I'd love to go and try. I feel like I want to go for a nap and I had one rib. <laughs> God bless. Take care.